Hey guys, this is FBMX Like a Hater, or Dick, bringing you some FTL for the new Fantasy Channel. Uh, let's dive right in. So, I've beaten this game before, uh, a few times now. So, I have a few ships unlocked. Um, this one's my favorite right here, the Federation Cruiser. But I'm just going to use the Kestrel today. Of course, I'm going to rename it to the... SS Fun to See. Alright. And this comes with three people. I'm gonna rename them to Alex. Which is F Max like a beast. Uh myself. Max like a hair or dick. And then mm, Kevin. FBM makes like a boss. Um, and, and this is the basic ship, so this is the one you get off normally. Uh, I'm gonna be on normal. Uh, this ship is, like I said, basic, so it has all the basic components in it, and it's got a burst laser and Artemis missile to start off with. Um, for those of you who haven't played this game, it's really fun. Here, let's just... uh, here I'll talk about it in a second. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Door subsystem. Upgrading your doors once will greatly reduce the chance fire will spread between rooms. Upgrading them again will cause doors significantly slow border movement. Yeah, that's that's always a good option. Okay, so this game, you pretty much, um, you command a ship, and you're trying to get to the last zone where you fight the last boss. Um, now you pick up crew on the way, and you can set crew to your different systems. Uh, the four separate or the three separate systems you can set them to is uh, captain, weapons, shields. Oh, and engines. So yeah, there is four. Um, all right, let's go. I'll explain other things. Oh yeah, and you have to uh, manage power throughout your ship. So you, you mean you can upgrade your ship here? Uh, you know, put different money into different areas and you get money from doing these events that are on the board. Uh, I'm gonna go across the bottom because there's more here because we want to hit as much as possible. So I'm gonna jump. You arrive to find a number of ships convening around a station. You tune into their unencrypted communication channel and overhear half of their conversation. It seems that they are need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Uh, I'm gonna offer my services. You brief, they briefly scan your ship and inform you that you are not properly equipped for this type of mission. Oh well. Uh, moving on. There is a ship with pirate markings orbiting the nearby planet. You receive his hail. Anything is possible for the right price. Uh, this is a mercenary ship. You can pay him to delay the rebels, which are chasing you. Uh, that It's kind of like a time restriction on the game. And then... Uh, you can have them scout for you, uh, which will tell you what you, all the markers are on the map instead of them being random. Uh, or you can fight them, and I normally fight them. Uh, mercenaries are worse than the rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary battle, of course. Okay, so what you want to do in this game is take out the enemy in combat is to take out the enemy ships. Uh, what I normally do is I take out their weapons with my Artemis because they ignore their shields, missiles, ignore the shields, and then burst laser down their shields. Uh, burst laser fires twice, so it'll hit their shields taking it out, and then it'll hit their shields again, but it'll actually hit the system, which would disable it. And then the Artemis will take out their weapons, which will make sure that they can't hit me. Um, ooh, right now I have Alex at Captain. Uh, myself on shields and Kevin's on weapons. Alright, now I'm going to disable the Artemis. And, uh, just let them die, pretty much. It's over. Oh yeah, put my ship on auto fire too. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty simple combat system. Uh, see, now they're trying to escape using their FTL. So I'm want to target their engines so they can't escape. See so yeah, how it's delayed because 
Um, there's probably no one on Captain there repairing this stuff. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. So it gave me missiles, drone parts, and scrap. Uh, drone parts, I don't have a drone system yet. I can buy one at a shop uh, for a lot of scrap. Scrap is the currency. Uh, but I don't have one yet, so drone parts are pretty much useless. You detect a small military outpost and a few freighters nearby. This mineral-rich planet in an isolated location would be perfect for an illegal Montes mining operation. As you consider your options, a ship launches from the outpost. Prepare to fight. Okay, so they just engaged me. I didn't have a choice here. Uh, I probably would have engaged them anyway. So I'm gonna Artemis, uh, same thing that I've been doing. Uh, yeah, there's different races in this game too. These are Mantis, so they're like, or Mantis, sorry, I say Mantis. Mantis weird. Ooh, see they hit me, and this this is my whole damage, as much damage as I can take, because they have a missile. I want to take the Artemis off. Uh, so anyway, there's races. There's human, Mantis, uh, rock people. Um, oh, I'm missing a few. Uh, NG, which are like bionic people. Uh, ooh, a store. Uh, I'm gonna get up here first. Get more scrap. And then there's um, Zoltan, which are like people made out of pure energy. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Uh, I'm gonna explore. Ooh, look at that. Three missiles, 16 scrap. Okay. Um. Ooh, distress. You know, yeah, I'm not even gonna go to the store. Because I don't really have a lot of scrap. It's, it's not worth it. It's a waste. You arrive at a distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Um. I'm gonna destroy and loot the ship. Ooh. You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull. Before you can scrap the remains, another pirate ship flashes on your radar. Perhaps they saw your deed, or perhaps they want to claim the spoils for themselves, but for whatever reason they're charging their weapons. Ooh, now see, this is a drone. Uh, this is a, a beam drone, or a burst laser drone, so it does the same thing as that, but it's weaker. Uh, so I'm going to want to take other drones, because those can be very annoying. Because they only have a burst laser, too no missiles, so it's nothing to really worry about. And then I'm gonna burst on their weapons. See, he's pretty much taking hey, my shields now. Ooh, they... Okay, this is a good learning moment. Um, they attack my engines. See how it's orange? When something's orange, it's partially damaged, so you lose one power bit to it, so it only works at, like, half functionality. Or for how, like, uh, they have to damage my weapon systems three times for them to shut them down. But for each damage there is, I lose one power bar in that. So, like, if they damage it, I can't have both of these weapons at the same time. Um, and so I have to send someone in to repair that. Probably should send my shields guy, but it's whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Don't want to waste missiles on these scumbags. <laughs> Um, ooh, now this is a really good augmentation, so I think I'm going to take that. And it, I don't really get a lot of scrap, but it's whatever. Augmentation's really good. Uh, go down and then head up into the distress. Oh, the augmentation, pretty much, uh, there's weapons called ion cannons, and when they fire at you, they disable shields, and if you don't have any shields, then they disable the... Uh, system that they were targeted at, but the reverse ion field has a chance of completely negating the effect of it, which is kind of good, uh, especially during the last boss because he gets really annoying because he's got a really OP weapon system. A mercenary hails you. Greetings, friend. We've heard eh, we've heard tell of your quest and are here to offer our valuable services. So he's pretty much just another mercenary like before. Uh, I'm gonna fight him. Yeah. Uh. Artemis their weapons, burst their shields. Ooh. Uh, they took out my oxygen. Okay, um, see with fire, 
you see these? These are like, um, this here, here, and here. Those are all airlocks. So if I open these doors, it'll suck all the air out of here. And if I suck all the air out of the room with the fire, then the fires go out. So I don't have to risk um, damaging my people. So I'm going to do that. And I, I need to put these out right away because they're stopping me from repairing my oxygen. And my oxygen will go down. When it hits zero, my people pretty much die. Alright, so the fires are out. Close these. Now, when a room has stripes through it like that, that means there's no oxygen in it. So while my people are in there, um, they'll take periodic damage, but I need to repair my oxygen to get it back. And these rooms will slowly uh, lose oxygen. Like, they're kind of starting to turn red right now. It means they're losing oxygen. Let's see, now they're trying to escape. I'll take care of that. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so I need to send two people in there. Target my Artemis off on the side of his missiles. Now, taking out my oxygen can be really annoying because it's kind of a pain in the ass to repair. Alright, so I'm coming back. Oh, yeah. Um, with the systems, I didn't mention this before, but you rank up in them. And once they get to a certain rank, like, my weapons will recharge faster when Kevin hits, like, one star and then two stars. Um, same with shields, they'll recharge faster. And then, uh, well, Alex doesn't actually have any skill on that yet, which is kind of confusing. But, um, my FTL will charge faster, and then my evade will go up. Um, so my chance to dodge things will go up if I have someone in there and they rank up. I'm going to hit the Distress Beacon. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Uh, now see, I could either get a crew member or lose one doing this. Uh, I'm going to take a chance. Your crew slowly creeps up on a cluster of the creatures from behind. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn in charge. However, your team stays in control before you've, before long, you've beaten them back. Contact station owners. Uh, see, so they gave me a reward, and I didn't lose anyone. I didn't get anyone either, but it's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. Uh, your scans reveal a mining base on a nearby planet, long since abandoned, no life signs detected. So it's pretty much a useless jump. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna jump back here towards the rebels. But I won't get caught by them. Okay, now with slavers, I can buy one. This is a slaver. You recognize the ship uh, as a well known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. So I can buy a new crew member, or I can attack the slaver, or, or I can just leave, but I'm gonna attack him. Because if I beat him, he'll just offer me one for free. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then get another crew member. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to repair that right away. Uh, I, I can do that. Oh, no, gotta repair shields. Take Artemis off them. Okay, and now I just got a new crew member, an NG. Okay. Um, now going back to the races. Each race has its own special ability besides humans. Uh, humans are neutral, so they do everything well. NGs, they I believe they're bad at combat, so they do like um. For with combat, I mean like. Um, hand to hand, you can teleport into enemy ships and attack people with the right systems, or they can teleport to yours um, with the right system. Uh, I can also buy that at the shop because my ship does not come equipped with that, um, my stock ship. But anyway, the uh, each race has its own special abilities. So NGs, which is like the bionic people, this guy right here, he repairs things twice as fast, but he does. 
uh, half the amount of damage towards other people than other races. Uh, humans are good at everything. Um, then the Mantis, or the Mantis people, they do double damage to people when like they're attacking hand to hand, but they repair things half as fast. Uh, rock people move really slow. They move ha half the speed of anyone else, but they have an extra 50 health. So like everyone has 100 health, but they have 150 health. They're also immune to fire, so they're really good for putting out fires. Um, then the Zoltans, which are green people made out of energy. Uh, I haven't experienced any of them yet. You normally don't experience them till the late game. They have half health. Or not half health, they, they have like 75 health instead of 100. But whenever they are in a room, the room automatically gets an extra power bar. Uh, and then they do everything else normally. And then, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all the races. So yeah, uh, I'm going to actually upgrade my doors now. And jump to this place. Alright, you find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Um... Now, I could just take its scrap, or I could get more, plus its data stores. Ah, uh, see, I didn't get any more scrap, but I did get extra fuel and room parts. And fuel's, uh, good. Because if I run out of fuel, then I have to wait in my spot, which gives me less time in each zone until the rebels catch up. Like, this is the rebels. In here, they haven't caught me yet. But if I stay in this area, then they'll teleport forward to me, and I pretty much lose if that happens. Uh, now I can't really hit any of these other areas because I have to exit or they'll catch me. Uh, you've arrived at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next ses eh, sector. A nearby space station hails you. Greetings. Your arrival is most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal. Um, I don't have any drone systems or anything, so I'm not going to take their offer. Uh, and then you jump to the next sector. Um, I can either go to the nebula or the rebel-controlled rebel sector. Uh, nebulas are kind of a pain in the ass because you can't you you your sensors, uh, your cameras, are off while you're in the whole area, so you can't like see anything in your ship except for the rooms that your people are in. So I'm gonna go to the rebel-controlled sector. Uh, once the Federation forces were scattered, the rebels came down hard on the locals here. Between the tax collectors and the military bases, the rebel presence in this sector is high. Alright, uh, so this is what I have to go with. Um, and I will continue this next time, guys. If you liked this video, please like and leave a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions or uh, anything else you want to tell me about, do the same. Just leave a comment below. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.